Hi, this is Chris Converse, and this is a course on creating and designing your first jQuery mobile website. So I want to start by showing the final project and show all the features of our mobile website that we're going to be developing. So when I open this up in a browser, we can see the way jQuery mobile is going to take our HTML and recreate a user experience that closely mimics native applications on handheld devices. First of all, the design is going to be liquid. So as I open and close the browser, you can see the design will actually stretch to accommodate varying screen sizes. I can even tap on individual buttons and the content for the individual pages is going to slide into place. Tap on the back button, we'll go back to home. We're also going to be taking a look at how we can take buttons and restyle these buttons using this framework to make the buttons look like native application items as well. So this button group here has rounded corners on the top and bottom with a rectangle in the center. And then we're also going to be able to Ajax load in content. So when I click on first service, this HTML page is going to be loaded in via Ajax and loaded into our mobile website. Now before showing the rest of the features, I'm going to bring up a mobile simulator. So let's take a look at this running in the iOS simulator. So another feature we're going to be adding is dynamic filtering. So I'm going to come in here and tap on find a location. Here we have a country list. And at the very top of the list, we have this filtering search field. I'm going to tap into here and just start typing letters, U and I. As I do this, you can see we get a live filtering of all of the countries down to all of the countries that have the letters U, N, and I together. Type the letter A, and I can see all of the countries that have the letter A in them as well. So this dynamic filtering is part of the jQuery mobile framework as well. I'm going to tap Done. Let's scroll down to the bottom here and go back to Home. The other thing we're going to be doing is loading the contact information as an overlay. So I can tap on this item here, and that content's going to come up as a dialog box. And to close that, I'm going to come up here, tap on the X, and I'll be right back where I first initiated that particular overlay. Now jQuery Mobile is built to run on a variety of platforms and devices, so we can see the same user experience here running inside of the Android simulator as well. So to illustrate what we're going to be doing while we build our project, I'm going to bring up a sketch. So what we're going to be doing is building a single HTML file with some multi-page code inside, and each page is going to be represented by a block of code inside of a particular div inside of the jQuery Mobile framework. As we create links inside of each one of these blocks to other blocks of code, the jQuery mobile framework is going to load these pages off screen and slide them into place, giving us that mobile application feeling. In cases where we link to content that is outside of this single HTML file, the jQuery mobile framework is also going to Ajax load content in, meaning it's going to go out, pull in the extra HTML files, load them into the page, give us a dialog box to show us that the page is loading, and once it's loaded, it's going to slide that content into place as well. This will give our users a very consistent user experience and allow us to load any number of pages into our mobile website experience. In addition to this functionality, we're going to be taking a look at online tools like Theme Roller. Theme Roller is built into jQuery Mobile's website and allows us to create custom themes and swatches for customizing our design. And in addition, we're going to write some of our own CSS and override some of the base jQuery frameworks and add some of our own graphics to vastly change the way the mobile experience actually looks across different devices. So I hope this course sounds interesting, and if so, let's get started with the first movie.